Indian American scientist Swati Mohan is one who grew up watching Star Trek, a TV show which regarded in her an interest for space trended all throughout Friday. Swati Mohan, who leads the guidance, navigation and control operations of NASA's Mars 2020 mission, played a pivotal role in landing the U.S. Space Agency's historic Perseverance rover on the Martian surface on Friday. Swati was also the first to confirm that the rover had successfully touched down on the Martian surface after surviving a particularly tricky plunge through the atmosphere of the Red Planet. Touchdown confirmed, Perseverance safely on the surface of the Mars, ready to begin seeking signs of past life. Flight controller Swati announced, prompting her colleagues at NASA to fist bump and break into celebrations. Swati Mohan, who emigrated from India to the US when she was only a year old, says the guidance, navigation and controls operations are eyes and ears of the spacecraft. As the team's operations lead, she was the primary point of communication between the GN and C subsystem and the rest of the project. Swati was also responsible for the training of the GNNC team, scheduling the mission control staffing for GNNC as well as the policies and procedures the GNNC uses in the mission control room. Raised in Northern Virginia, Washington, D.C. metro area, Swati Mohan completed her bachelor's degree from Cornell University in Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering and her MS and PhD from Massachusetts Institute of Technology in Aeronautics and Astronautics. Swati has been a mainstay with the Mars 2020 mission since its beginning in 2013. She says she got interested in space after watching the popular TV show Star Trek when she was nine. Seeing the beautiful depictions of the new regions of the universe that they were exploring, I remember thinking, I want to do that. I want to find new and beautiful places in the universe. The vastness of space holds so much knowledge that we have only begun to learn, she had told NASA. Swati also noted that her passion for space increased further when she took her first physics class at the age of 16. I was lucky enough to have a great teacher and everything was so understandable and easy. That was when I really considered engineering as a way to pursue space, she added. News desk, English.